ladies and gentlemen of the Brave Nation. Welcome along to Brave Combat Federation 34 in partnership with our friends at WFC 24. Making his way to the Brave Arena for his Brave Combat Federation debut is Matja Plavich. Matja brings with him a 1-0 professional record, which at 41 years old, Kirik, is he too late into the game? Is he too late in the game? No, he's not. And Phil, I am incredibly pumped for this fight for a number of reasons, one of which is mixed martial arts, of course. The purpose of it is to figure out what part of what martial arts work the very best. This is one of the very few times an Aikido expert has entered the MMA cage. It's very, very rare, and I am very, very, very interested. You're looking at Plavich there, who is a fourth degree Aikido black belt, but not only that, he's also a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu purple belt. You see in his corner there, grappling coach and grappling legend, Jeb Sekon there. So if you have someone like that in your corner, you're obviously competent when that fight hits the ground, Kerry. Phil, of course, every, sing every single fight, ha every single fighter needs a very broad base. He's got everything. He knows how to wrestle, he knows how to strike, but his base is the Art he began with is Aikido, and as I said, highly unusual to see an Aikido expert in the MMA cage. There we see an Aikido practitioner making his mixed martial arts debut at 40 years old. But then if you think about other guys that have got started a little bit later, you've got guys like Randy Couture, guys like Herschel Walker who made his MMA debut into his 50s. I was actually shortlisted to fight him, Phil. Still a lot of life and a lot of mileage You're in Matja Plavich. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome his opponent into the cage from Ljubljana, Slovenia. Please welcome Marco Lionheart De Lion lungs, Carlos Kramer. It's a lion heart. Marco Dermanich making his way to the Brave Arena. Yes, he may be six years younger than his opponent, Matja Plavic, but he is definitely exponentially more experienced in the sport of mixed martial arts, bringing with him a 9 10 and 1 no contest record. As I understand it, Phil, he's also a former WFC middleweight title contender. So this is a top, top regional fighter. In his last fight, he defeated Zoran Dodd via first round guillotine choke. That was in Slovenia, right here in October of 2019. He's competed against the cream of the crop of Slovenian mixed martial arts. Guys like Nemanja Milosevic, guys like Odisa Drusic, who we'll see later tonight. A real gritty, hard-nosed brawler. And for me, Kirik, that's what he will need to do to get in there and really mix it up, get in the face of Matja Plavic, who is perhaps the more refined martial artist, who may not be used to somebody like Marko Dormanich putting the pressure on him from the very first bell. Phil, what's a perfect hand in blackjack? 21, and this is Marko Lionheart. Dumonich's 21st fight. Let's see if he can be perfect tonight. Speaking to him, he began his athletic career in basketball, but once took a class at Valley Tudo Ljubljana, now known as MMA Ljubljana, under Slovenian MMA pioneer Bojan Kosidor, where he says he got beat up by a much smaller man, and from that moment, he had a real thirst for the mixed martial arts game. And our thirst is about to be quenched here at Brave Combat Federation 34 WFC 24. Let's send it up to the man himself, the legend, the voice of Brave, the roaring lion, Ladies Carlos Kramer. This first bout of our historic night is three five and rounds in a catchweight battle. This fight is brought to you by Abu Dhabi Sports and Planet TV. Let's meet our first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of one win and no losses. He stands. 182 centimeters tall and weighs already 88 kilograms. Representing MMA Club Center, Samurai Jim, and fighting out of Malibu, Slovenia. Give it up for Mate Clubin. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's 
the record of nine wins, ten losses, and one draw. He stands 183 centimeters tall and weighs already 88 kilograms. Representing TNT Gym and fighting out of Lupiana, Slovenia. Give it up for Marco Lionheart. Phil, we've got two guys, near identical shorts, both of them heavily muscled, both of them shaved heads. That's Mate Plavic with a blue tape on his wrists and Marko Dumonic in red. Two big guys ready to get in there and through down for your entertainment here at Brave Combat Federation 34 WFC 24. Plavich looks calm and collected. Dermonich looks ready to start with a bang. Touch your gloves and we are ready to go. Mate playing the outside, opens with a low kick. Dermonich throwing a couple of feints, just trying to get a little bit of a reaction. Dermonich stalking, answers with a kick of his own. Goes up high. Dermot, it seems like he's just waiting for an opportunity to land a big right hand. Leaping left hook. There's that right hand. Plavic showing the, oh, that's a beautiful leg kick. Just chops it right in. Plavic needs to be wary of going to the well too often with that high kick. High kick versus a low kick, Phil. The low kick usually wins over rounds. There you go, now Plavic employing a little bit of the leg kick game. I'd like to see Dermanich really take the fight to Plavich, get into his face, show a little bit of that 19 fight veteran savvy. I think it's gonna happen momentarily, Phil. Oh, big overhand, just clipped the chin. And there it is. Both these guys are starting to throw down a little bit, trading leg kicks. Those leg kicks are a real investment. Dermanich playing possum a little bit, had the hands low there, almost beckoning Plavich on. Dermanich back to his stalking game. Wide looping left. I'd like to see him put a straight right behind that looping left, Kirik. He's got it cocked and loaded. There it there goes. It is. Big overhand on the uppercut, following up with big shots. Plavich returns, showing that he very much wants to be in there and throw it down. The leg kicks seem to be a little bit more forceful coming from Dermanich. Mixing up the strikes is Dermanich. Charge forward from Plavich. Good back and forth action from these two athletes. Two minutes in, and what's already looking like a very interesting, exciting bite. Big overhand from Dermanich. He's biting down on the gum shield and winging shots. <laughs> Stepping in. I like what he did there. Went with the jab to the body, changing levels well. Big knee up the middle on elbow. Dermanich is we putting on the pressure. down to short time. No, slips away. Good awareness from Plavich just to use the sidestep to get out of the way. Lesser fighters would have shelled up there. Dominich really wants to find a, a home for that big right hand. Setting up with the lead left hook. Crowd really starting to get behind Plavic here, the man from Maribor, Slovenia. It's a very nice play. Oh, we wobbled oh. him! Wobbled him with that big overhand. Staggered. The 41-year-old Plavic showing that he does indeed have a chin. Big overhand again from Dermanic. And knees again. Can Plavic get out this time? Oh, he landed flush with that knee. Nice work from Dermanich, really starting to put the pressure on the Plavich. Thought about the overhanded Plavich, decided not to. All oh, those leg kicks are really starting to take their toll on Plavich. You can see the marking up of the left leg. Little bit of dirty boxing from Plavich. Nasty bruise peeking out from under those pit bull shorts. Both these men just throwing wild winging shots at each other. 
Ty Clench from Dermanich trying to land that one knee clean on the button that could put Plavich away. It's almost as if these gentlemen made an agreement not to go down to the ground, just winging shots at one another for your entertainment. I was impressed though, Phil, by Plavich punching his way out of that, punching his way straight out of that plum. Some nice clean shots from Plavich, but Dermanich replies with a left of his own. Dermanich probably going to put him in that plum again. Plavich probably going to try and punch his way out. Worked the last time. 30 seconds to go in round number one of what's proving to be a real intriguing opening bout. Spinning back fist attempt there from Plavich. See, the leg kicks of Dermanich are coming with just a little bit more venom. He's turning the hip over just a little bit more. Really getting that arc and chopping down into the leg of Plavich. That's a nice shot to close the round from Dermanich. Round ends. Fairly clean round, Phil. Marco Dermanich, 10-9. I think if you look at the accumulation of leg kicks and the overhands that he was landing, what I really liked he was doing, and he did it perfectly and it landed at once, was change levels, jab to the body, and then come over the top. Squat, let's look at our, walk us through our Green Hill replay. Big shots from Dermanich there, and you see Plavich happy to reply. Dermanich throwing hands like he's throwing a fast pitch in baseball, but this was a clean knee. And then a beautiful little bit of dirty boxing from the Aikido man, Plavich. Again, the plum clench. Little bit of marking up there, the left eye of Dermanich. Plavich down one round. He's going to try and turn it around in just seconds. It's on. Plavich going into the second round for the first time in his very young mixed martial arts career. Won his first fight. In the very first round, Darcy half the cardio. He's coming out swinging, Carrick. He's taking the fight to Dermanich. Again, Dermanich just seems to be waiting, almost waiting to counter with a big right hand of his own. I think, Phil, that's one of the tales of this fight. We don't want to, Plavich does not want to commit to that low kick completely because he's afraid of that counter straight right. It's taking away from his game a little bit. Nice stiff job there. From Dermanich but gets caught with a couple of shots. Plavich seems to be growing as this fight progresses. Ray looking for a takedown off the field knee attempt. There's a good reason they call the man Samurai, Phil. We are looking at a warrior. Trying to bridge off, perhaps land the knee of his own. Dermanich initiating the clinch, the over under position. May try and dig in for an underhook there on his right side. But comes over the top with a beautiful elbow. Answered with a big knee straight down the middle. Nice answered, inside. answered. Nice work inside the clinch. Dermanich needs to be wary of dropping that head down. Just took a little bit of a deep breath. He's waiting in with the head down. A well-timed uppercut or a knee. Jabs are starting to work for Plavich. Does seem to be growing in confidence. I think the cardio edge may just go to Plavich so far. That's a beautiful leg kicking game. I'd like to see more of that from Dermanich. Plavich's straight shots are having some effect over Marcos, who tends to throw looping shots. I'd like to see Plavich keep throwing straight down the middle like that. Don't wing, don't uppercut, don't overhand. Straight down the middle. Well, it's, it's basic physics, isn't it, Kerry? Those straight shots are going to land quicker than those loopy shots. There's a nice uppercut from Dermanich. And again, again, we see Plavich trying to punch his way out of that tie plum. Again, with a degree of success. That's the wizard on Dermanich's right side. May use that to plump down. Nice body work there from Dermanich. This also gives Dermanich an opportunity to catch his breath a little bit. Clinch from Plavich. Just shy with the knee. That one got through, so did the right hand. He's catching They're him with right and second. Dermanich oh. <laughs> says, go ahead, man, I can take these shots. Let's Drops go. those hands. Plavich might have punched himself out a little bit there. Pulls him in. Beautiful leg kick. 
He's starting to really hurt the leg. Oh, he caught oh! him with that! That could be a TKO due to leg kicks, Carrick! Referee is gonna stop it! That's it, over. it's all over! All about the leg kicking game of Marco Dermanich. That last kick was money! Threw absolutely everything into it. Caught Plavich clean and followed up with some ground and pound. Kill that leg and the head will die. Marco Dermanich with the third TKO of his professional career. The first by leg kicks. I reckon we can attribute that to leg kicks, right, Carrick? 100%. Beautiful finish. Just absorb the punishment of Matja Plavich. Dropped the hands, almost played a little bit of psychological warfare and then just chopped in with that beautiful leg kick. Another one for good measure, unless it's the grimace from Plavic. Follows up with a little bit of ground on point. Very, very smart strategy, Phil. When he dropped his opponent with a low kick, he went after it one more time. A lesser fighter would have started going to the head. He said, no, I know what's got me standing. I'm gonna follow right up. Congratulations as well, of course, to the Samurai, Mate Plavich. You have to give him credit for even taking the fight in the first place. That's only his second professional mixed martial arts fight against a guy that is now 10-10-1. It's a simple fact, though. If you can't walk, you can't fight. Let's send it up to the man himself, the Roaring Lion of Brave. Mr. Carlos Kramer, let's make it official, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to start the night. This bout comes to an end at three minutes and five seconds of the second round. Your winner by TKO due to leg kicks, Marco Lionheart Dermanich. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Marco Dermanich with the 10th win in his professional career via...